Red Bull B Team Toro Rosso has plenty of confidence with a much stronger package for the coming season. Last year was a tale of two halves for the Fienza based squad. One year old Ferrari power units afforded reliability at the start, Carlos Sainz scoring points in eight of the first 11 races. But the team dropped back as the power unit manufacturers moved ahead with development, far more than team boss Franz Tost had banked on. The second half of the season was not as uh, we expected, but uh, if you remember back, for example, in Sao Paulo, Carlos drove a fantastic race under wet conditions and finished sixth, although in Sao Paulo you need a lot of uh, power from the engine side, but this showed to us how good the chassis was. The squad also suffered with an early season driver change, with young gun Max Verstappen promoted to Red Bull Racing and Daniel Kvyat on thin ice with the brand after his demoralizing demotion. The Russian eventually recovered, his best result ninth in Singapore. But the new year brought renewed hope. Toro Rosso's two drivers buoyed by an aggressive new formula. The cars from the outside, particularly mine, it looks quite impressive, it looks aggressive, it looks like a step forward, like a category ahead of last year. So it's exactly what we want, it's exactly what we were looking for. The STR12 not only looks the part with one of 2017's hottest liveries, but has the grunt to match with Renault returning as power unit partner. It's also expected that with Red Bull Racing and Toro Rosso utilizing the same power plant, the sister teams will share technology and parts to the maximum allowed under the regulations. So the target is ambitious. The fifth place in the Constructors' Championship. I'm more confident this year, and uh, I think that we have the ingredients together to achieve this goal. But Toro Rosso's best ever result is sixth, achieved in 2008, when Sebastian Vettel took victory at Monza in a one-year-old Red Bull chassis. But the Italian team has finished seventh in its last three campaigns. Its two drivers, Sainz and Kvyat, are desperate to prove they have what it takes, but for very different reasons. Sainz is keen to show that he's got the steel for a top-line F1 drive after he was overlooked for the Red Bull racing seat last year. I will try to even improve them, even if last year was already very, very good. But yeah, keep, keep doing the same job, improve the, uh, some areas that I still need to to keep uh, improving and, and I'm convinced uh, the results will come and eventually new opportunities. Kvyat, on the other hand, needs to score points consistently and minimize mistakes to regain the team and the sport's faith in his abilities. Just go there and do your job, improve uh, yourself, just think, focus on yourself and uh, it should be enough. Two hungry drivers, Renault Power, and a closer collaboration with sister team Red Bull Racing. All the ingredients are there. If Toro Rosso can put it all together, its target may just be in reach.